Iranian Real has been falling to record lows as Iran's economy continues to suffer due to sanctions imposed over its nuclear program. Take a look. The Real has taken a sharp hit, nosediving from 18,000 versus the US dollar in January to just 37,000 for a single US dollar now. While President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's administration blames speculation for the run on the national currency, for others it is simply the manifestation of decades of suffering under economic uh, sanctions. Importantly, with curbs on trade, Iran's oil exports have taken a critical hit in recent months, hitting all-time low figures. What's worse now is that the European Union is planning to ban Iranian gas imports, which will further cripple Iran's economy. And so, Dr. Wad, looking at what's happening, here is another example in Iran. You're seeing the West, not just America, but the EU now with these impending uh, with this impending ban on gas imports, is it a clear? Is is this an excuse main, merely being exposed now as a plan to target directly Iran's economy, cripple it at all costs? I think after the uh, coming of the uh, Islamic Revolution in Iran, the United States and the West already made their decision to be anti-regime in Iran. But the Iranian government have understood the game plan and they have really steadfastly built up their economy, their arm and their industry to such an extent that it is become a force to reckon with within the region. That's why Americans failed to attack them militarily, failed to let Israel attack them also because they have enough conventional weapons that can target even the nuclear site of Israel and the American interest in the Gulf. Therefore, and the falling of the currency in is a part of, uh, of the West embargo and sanctions on Iran. As we try and balance out our interests in the region vis-a-vis -vis Afghanistan and Pakistan, India has a very fine line to walk, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But we are very lucky, uh, um, Royden, because America has reluctantly agreed to Indian's position that we can import, uh, not as much as we used to, yeah. but they have allowed us to import about 20% of yes, that. Yes. So, so far, we are okay. But at the same time, I must say, that what has happened to Iran's currency, yeah, I can see the certain deja vu in it. Mm. I was in Iraq mm. before, you know, when Saddam was ousted. Right. And I was shocked when I arrived there first mm. and I went for the exchange of the dollar. Yeah. I was amazed for 100 US dollar. Mm. I got something like quarter million uh, yeah. uh, local yeah. currency. But, but that's, that's the danger because that is what is exactly impacting the life of the average Iranian and also causing unrest for its own government and, and uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's government and elections are not far away. That's not so I think maybe he will be made as a scapegoat and he yeah. will be changed and they will bring more better person reformers. Okay. They will never uh, one for second, I would like yeah. to tell you something. You see, the, the world has come to realize yeah. the sudden you know, crisis in Iran, financial crisis. Hmm. But you know, before that, I must tell you hmm. a pathetic story there. Hmm that there are thousands and thousands of innocent children yes. who are dying for yeah. lack of medicine yeah. because these embargoes... Yeah, because that, that's uh, absolutely, and that's the danger, isn't it? Uh, no, no, it is it's criminal. Common man it is criminal that children are dying. Yes, and you're playing with, no the future, with the future of absolutely. a country and a people. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Satish Jacob and Dr. Wailavad for joining us uh, with your time.